Parkinson's disease is one of the fastest growing neurological disorders in the world. Already there are over 10 million people with Parkinson's disease worldwide, and by the year 2030, the number of Parkinson's cases is projected to more than double. And it's hard to differentiate between Parkinson's disease and commonly misidentified neurological disorders. And lack of movement disorder specialists worldwide further compounds this issue with misdiagnosis being as much as one out of four cases. And the current clinical criteria for Parkinson's disease, such as resting tremor and difficulty walking that we typically associate with the disease, actually represent the tip of the iceberg of disease progression and don't occur until up to 20 years after disease onset began. Lack of objective and validated biomarkers prevents the opportunity for early intervention and prevention. By the time we're detecting Parkinson's disease using existing methods, already up to 60% of dopamine neuronal markers are depleted. In order to ultimately develop disease-modifying and preventative therapeutics, we urgently need a set of objective early warning signs and early detection systems. Faceprint is the solution. About two years ago, I was watching a video by the Michael J. Fox Foundation, and I realized that whenever Michael J. Fox or another Parkinson's patient would laugh or smile with one another, it came off as emotionally distant. As I talked to caretakers and spouses and clinicians, they reported similar observations in their loved ones years before the onset of traditional motor symptoms and subsequent diagnosis. As I searched through past medical papers, trying to piece together this mystery, I found that the parts of the brain that experience the earliest changes in Parkinson's disease are the same parts involved for facial expression formation, meaning they could provide a way to provide external manifestation of these early neurological changes. I became captivated by this idea of using facial expressions to objectively monitor changes in the brain associated with disorders such as Parkinson's disease, leading me to develop face print. Faceprint is an automated web-based tool to detect and monitor Parkinson's disease and commonly misidentified neurological disorders using video technology and early stage facial expression impairments. Faceprint has been validated through two international pilot studies and is currently launching clinical trials with Stanford Medical School and the Michael J. Fox Foundation. Faceprint analyzes the video of a patient undergoing a series of gamified neurological tests and is able to objectively identify early stage impairments. Faceprint turns the previously subjective observations made by caretakers and made by clinicians into objective indicators of disease state. Leveraging facial recognition technology and a series of early stage digital biomarkers and machine learning algorithms, Faceprint is able to accurately capture these early stage facial expression differences. What most excites me about this technology is the potential impact and implications. Faceprint provides a decision support and differential diagnostic tool perfect for a clinical setting or an at-home screening and monitoring system that can provide a seamless feedback loop between patient and clinician. The measurements and biomarkers that I've identified and digitized also can help develop and measure um, different development of disease-modifying therapeutics. While building Faceprint, I've specifically designed the technology to be non-invasive and readily accessible, available a fraction of the cost and infrastructure required for existing methods. And one of my favorite parts about developing Faceprint has been the opportunity to work with Parkinson's patients all around the world. I've heard stories from patients like Mark. Mark was showing signs of Parkinson's disease for 10 years, always just thought it was normal aging. And then one day, he was at a construction store picking up a piece of wood, and somebody walked by who just happened to be one of the few Parkinson's specialists that existed in his area and said, hey, did you know you have Parkinson's disease? These were 10 years of Mark's life where the quality of his living could have been greatly improved. What would Mark and the other Parkinson's patients that I worked with lives look like if they had instant early disease detection and prevention? This is the future that Faceprint hopes to make a reality. I believe that Parkinson's disease is a community epidemic that demands community solutions. That's why starting in early May, starting in early May we're making our test available online. We'll be launching one of the largest crowdsourced clinical studies and expanding Faceprint to other neurological and other psychological disorders. You can visit our website now to, be sign, to sign up to be notified when the study is launched. 
I believe that together we can turn social media into a powerful tool to advance scientific research and accelerate the pathway to a cure. I believe that together we can turn selfies and hashtags into lives saved. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.